Hey guys, check it out. There is your brand new to you house. How about that? It's getting pretty far along in the cycle. Uh, we're gonna go in and give a quick tour to our clients. This is actually another Britain home we're building in Mustang Lakes. It is absolutely gonna be adorable when it's done. This is an inventory home. And just for you guys in YouTube land, most of the, the new homes you buy for the foreseeable future are gonna be inventory homes. All right, let me take you for a quick tour and show you how the house is looking. All right, guys, there is the front of your house. How about that? You can see the, uh, at this point, the, the, of course, they've poured the foundation, they've done all the framing, they've got the exterior cladding on. The thermal ply is gonna be uh, in certain areas, but they are gonna bring in OSB, the Omnistrand board, in areas where they're doing uh, kind of more prolific work like stonework or what have you. The interior drywall is laying in piles right there. I'm gonna go in and take a bunch of pictures for you guys so you can see uh, where everything is. I'll also put a little extra boring footage in here of me just painting basically with the camera so you can actually see a video of the walls too, just in case that helps. I think it's far easier to get locations when you see the camera move than just from a picture. Now remember guys, this, these are the cables that go through your foundation that apply pressure to squeeze the foundation together to keep it from cracking. They're gonna come in, tighten all this up at the appropriate time, a certain amount of time's gotta pass, and then they'll cut the cables off, cut off those nails, and they will put a smear of cement in there to seal it up so it'll all look smooth and pretty and function correctly. You're also seeing them uh, pressure test the pipes within the system. They're gonna pressure test the gas. They will also make sure all of the the showers and tubs and things like that hold water and don't leak. That's part of the process as well. And they've got uh, the water back there. You can see, actually see the cap on it. And then they've got one of the vents coming out. Uh, most of your stuff in modern construction, unless you're on a very inexpensive home, is gonna be positively vented to the outside of the home. You, you just aren't gonna see a vent hood or you know, an interior vent in a bathroom or something like that actually venting into the attic. That is a bad construction technique. It can add moisture and possibly cause mold up in the attic when they do that. All right, guys, so what can I tell you? Right now, we're in mechanical rough out phase. We've got the wiring in the walls and we've got the plumbing in the walls. Once the electrical, the gas, the plumbing, uh, the sewer lines, all of that stuff is done and in correct spots and the city comes out and checks it and your inspector comes out and checks it, then the builder will put insulation in, not on the interior walls, but the exterior walls, and then the drywall goes up. So that's kind of where we're at right now. So just so you know, I am filming this in 4K, so you guys ought to be able to zoom in, you know, at great lengths. And remember, we are using PEX out here. A lot of guys in the building industry really resisted PEX initially, but then they've kind of come around for the most part. It, uh, it's actually a very good product. I've got a price quote to retrofit um, a home that we have in Salina we're remodeling with PEC systems and get rid of the, the copper and the old school technology that's used in it. I just, I just like PECs a lot. I've, I've over the years, I was one of those old school guys, but over the years I've become a fan of it. And uh, I think it's actually a really good system. All right, let's take a spin around. I gotta not focus on showing you guys the walls and the wiring. And I've <laughs> gotta remember I'm also trying to show you how the home looks. But I do want you to be able to see, you had, my clients, uh, guys in YouTube land, my clients had requested, you know, doing a lot of detailed work where they could really see into the walls for the future. And uh, YouTube's a great thing for that. A video is a wonderful thing for that. You just can fast forward through uh, to the section of the home that y'all are gonna put something in the wall and you wanna know where the plumbing and the wiring is and you can see it. 
Look at that header beam. Gracious of me. That's a thing of beauty right there. Whoo! Good job, Britain. Dang. Okay, just giving you a little panoramic, trying to get as much as I can. This is gonna be awesome. Look at this high covered back porch. Now, just to give you guys a little location information, this is the entrance that Prosper is that way. And the road runs this way and the main entrance comes in. This is when you're going to the main entrance, you go by it and you head north on a side road up to Prosper. That's the entrance right off there. So this is kind of like a side entrance or a much less traveled entrance. So you can get out of here pretty quickly. You're not gonna wind through the neighborhood for 10 minutes. It's just that fast and you're over there. And it's actually really pretty over there as well. So here's the backyard. And then the fence is gonna continue just like this one on top of the retaining wall and connect right over to that one right there. And then you'll get a couple of trees in the backyard like your neighbors. Um, I think you get two in the back. It may be one. Uh, if you want two, you could add one uh, at your leisure. I always recommend doing landscaping, uh, not through the builder, but on your own. So that right there is gas, okay? You'll hear it called pig iron or black iron. That's just a slang term in the industry that, that we call it. I mean, I don't know where that... I guess the entomology, entomology, I don't know where that root, uh, <laughs> word originates from, but that's just what I've always heard it called for years and years and years and years and years. And I certainly couldn't tell you where it comes from. All right, we're getting this knocked out. Bear with me, we're getting there. I know some of you guys in YouTube land, you're like, okay, yeah. I see the wiring and I apologize for that, but we're wanting to do this for our clients to make sure that they can see everywhere there's wires in case they're wanting to add anything. And most of my videos, I go pretty quickly through them. I don't really take this much time to map out the wiring because over the framing stage and the wiring stage, you can actually go back and stop it and you can get enough and see enough to know where stuff is in the walls. There we go. But I certainly don't mind doing it. When we help you guys build a house, if you ask me to do this, I'm more than happy to do it. Let's just make sure we get that wall too so they can see where everything is. All right, guys, one little trick I want to tell you. Let's make sure there's attic access before I tell you my trick. I don't see the attic access from the garage. Usually there's a cutout where you can climb up. If you look at the attic, wherever the HVAC unit is, is where you're going to have an access point. Like right here, there's an attic access. You've got a lot of space up here. You could lay down some plywood and have for what I call lightweight storage. You don't want to put your weight set up there, but you could put plastic boxes with Christmas decorations or extra clothes and be just fine. See, you've got a lot of open area up there because they framed it pretty clean that you can use for storage. And I highly recommend you do that. So let's go back in the master. That's actually cool. They did this little cubby hole where you where you're walking back into the master and they've got that little window there. That's a neat touch. Vaulted in here. That's gonna be so pretty. Oh my gosh. Okay, so let me show you the walls. Give you a slow pan. And then there's your bedroom walls. There's a lot of activity going on right there. So just don't drill any holes over there unless you're really comfortable with what you're doing. And then there's, this is the return, it's in here. And then your tub will go here. 
We're, that's going to be the closet. There's your wiring. It's all coming down. This is sometimes called a Smurf tube, actually. Uh, there's your shower. It'll have a glass panel over the tub. Ooh, that's a nice tall shower. Be glass there. That's frosted. I don't know if you can tell, but you can't see through it, so nobody can peek at you when you're in the shower. This is this is a great floor plan. I I know it's terribly hard at the framing stage, but I'll be back out and film drywall and stuff like that. But this is going to be a great floor plan. I'm in the I'm in the breakfast nook right now. Okay, so all of this glass. You came. I'm making y'all dizzy. I'm so sorry. Look at all the glass around me, and it kind of sits out even with the patio. And then you've got this big family room. That way's your master. There's your fireplace. It goes all the way around. Big open space, kitchen. You're going to have your range right there, your cabinetry, your island. This is going to be really neat, guys. When, when you mark my words. You mark my words. When this is done, you're really going to be impressed. So one of the things that we love about Britain, uh, and one of my agents, Nicole, who's awesome, she just did an interview with Blake, you know, we've been working with. So all you guys in YouTube land, uh, as soon as I get that posted, y'all need to go watch the interview with Blake. He just talks about Britain and shares a little bit. Blake's a good dude, easy to work with. Uh, if you ask him a question, he updates you. We've had nothing, nothing but a great experience working with Blake. He's a, he's a sharp young man. He's gonna go far for sure. Okay, guys, that was a long one. I apologize for that, but we did wanna get a bunch of information for our clients. They wanted to see where all the wiring was. I wanted to make sure I covered it all. If you guys need any help building a new home in Collin County, Texas, parts north above Dallas, we would love to help you. We're a full service uh, brokerage. We buy, sell, and build. We even do investment properties. Reach out. One of my agents would be super happy to work with you. If you're a glutton for punishment and you want to work with a old dude, you can give me a call as well. Uh, all of us would love to help you. I'd love to meet you. Even if we don't work together, we're happy to answer questions. May God keep and bless you. May he cause his face to shine upon you. And may he bless y'all's home until I see you again.